Good afternoon, Mutantville. Um, you've got Brent Bowers, S. Brent Bowers, a.k.a. Johnny Brento, director of many films you love, such as Indigo Child and soon to be the web series Metatron Files. Actually, this is another Making Metatron episode, and um, just wanted to keep these rolling because I am absolutely committed to sharing every single ounce of the behind the scenes. Um, filmmaking experience with you guys. So I had some fun uh, yesterday working on Metatron Files, and so I'm sharing that today. I do realize that the dates on these are going to kind of tell that, you know, they are all like a couple days or just uh, day after day after day. Um, but that's that's the way it is. At times you run into inspiration or you see, okay, I can go ahead and knock out this little piece of detail for the project, so let me go ahead and just do that while uh, I have the time because as you get closer to the shoot, you have way less of that. So, uh, I'll let you in on some of the things that I'm, I'm working on. Yesterday, I went down to visit Mr. Uh, Todd Alexander Britt, FX prop master, makeup guy, guru dude uh, from Newtonville Productions for this project and many others. Um, by the way, I bring tea again. Recommend that highly for all of you. As you can see, I'm a big boy, so uh, I'm trying to increase my condition for the shoot because it's it always actually is a real physical chore when you're directing because you're on the feet the whole time and uh, so I always try to drop a few pounds before I, I get into a project like that and I'm kind of in that phase right now where I'm hitting the gym a little bit harder than normal and um, hoping to trim down a bit before we actually get into actual, actual production because it can be tough on your knees and back at least in, in my case. But uh, I digress. Uh, so what did we do at uh, Todd Abritt's uh, makeup studio yesterday? Well, as I mentioned previously, we um, I, I was looking to see what we could potentially reuse from previous productions. Uh, and fortunately, there were quite a few things that we could re reuse. So um, that was uh, that was really good to see. But uh, after discussing uh, one of the uh, main, well, really the main protagonist for the first episode, um, he wears a mask of human flesh. Um, with something like that that's so iconic and obviously you've got leather face, it has to look way different than that or people really kind of ding you for lacking originality. Um, plenty of movies uh, we see the killers take human flesh and put it on their face. Uh, Jeepers Creepers is one great example that jumps to mind where it was not really done like leather face so it, you know, it, it can be its own thing and I had some ideas about making that unique so uh, we did find an old uh, throwaway latex version of a previous mask from our film see for chaos that we were able to uh you know just kind of came out too flimsy and we could we could have made that work um and that would have knocked out a big piece right there but and discussing it with todd uh we decided that it should be sculpted so that we could put more detail and have the runes which really kind of tell some of the um the backstory, if you will, of the characters. Um, so uh, to that end, I actually started the uh, preparation of the uh, bust of myself. Actually, we're building it on my head, although it's going to go on someone else's head. Um, it's, uh, it's it's intended to be kind of loose fitting, you know. So that that actually worked out. Um, but I, I got to about two hours into that and really got to the point where it's uh, prepared to actually start sculpting, uh, putting on skin texture and then sculpting the detailing. So um, I'll return sometime this week to, to work on that. That was a lot of fun though. I've never actually done the hands-on clay stuff before and uh, it's actually not as hard as it looks once you get in there and uh, see the tools. Now of course I haven't gotten to the detail and if, if I'm able to do it I will do it. If not I'll, uh, I'll call on Todd to come in and handle the parts that I, that I can't. And, uh, uh, as opposed to having an inferior sculpt on it. But I do think um, if I can get the broad strokes, I'll be able to kind of guide the direction of that and it'll look the way I envision it to look. And then just count on him for the fine details and actually turning it into a, a, a piece of foam latex for us. So that'll be great. I'm excited about that. That's going to be a classic, uh, iconic piece of costuming right there for, for our main baddie in episode one. So um, in addition to that, I was able to check out a really cool... Um, Cthulhu statue that uh, Todd has been working on for some time and it got that to the finishing stages and that wow that was really super impressive I can't wait to see that thing cast into you know like an actual um, acrylic version or something so I can you know maybe get me a copy of that and set it on the old desk there I'm big into collecting action figures as anybody that's ever visited my um, my work area you totally totally see that I have an affinity for action figures they are not dolls they are action figures uh, Brental smash! Because <laughs> every now and then you need to pick this up and give somebody like a Hulk-sized bitch smack. But anyway, 
Uh, so other other things that we are uh, going to be working on, well, and by we I mean myself this week <laughs> for pre-production. Um, there's a golden gun called for Covenant Runes, and this is the uh, pistol. It's an airsoft pistol that was used in Respawner. There's a big effect involving an arm in Respawner, and uh, that particular piece was ordered to have a articulate hand that could be posed to hold the gun. Unfortunately, what we got was a hand like this. Kind of, yeah, like that. So the makeup guy that did that had to glue it on into position. And unfortunately, it left all this shitty gunk right here on, on, on my excellent airsoft pistol. So I'm going to have to do something about that. I'll try some sort of a paint thinner to get it off. And if that doesn't work, I'll actually get down to a wire brush. And of course, it's going to scuff up the finish. But that won't matter if we're painting this gold. Uh, you know, so kind of a chromey looking shiny gold uh, and doing our runes on that. So at this time, that's my plan for the basic version of the weapon and then it turns into something else, which I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to save that for uh, you have to see the film. <laughs> but it turns into something very cool. Um, so that's a couple of things that I've got on the docket for this week for working on this. And then, like I said, returning to Todd A. Britt's makeup lab of doom to finish the sculpt on uh, one of our masks that's going to be used in episode one. Um, got a lot of energy around this project right now. I want to get as much of it, of the pre-production done uh, as I can prior to, uh, to you know, getting into finishing up this or that other MVP project that has to be done, you know, uh, prior to shooting this. And there are a couple of those. Uh, we did have a, a, a full-on MVP meeting covering other topics, but also uh, working on Metatron. And uh, we actually made some, uh, some pretty... Uh, interesting uh, discoveries uh, or at least in our discussions certain things came to light and uh, so I think we're going to be contacting some more folks about being involved in the project and maybe at least one of them some of you might have heard of so it's pretty uh, it's pretty exciting and we've just basically delegated uh, you know Jamie's going to handle this George's going to handle this I'm going to handle this here and uh, you know just delegated some work around so that it, we can all kind of be working in the direction of moving us closer to actual production and uh, that's how we do it especially when you know most folks work a full-time job um, you know that's how you have to divide it up and catch as catch can whoever has the time and the bandwidth to handle said piece of pre-production you know they do it and um, that's how we're rolling right now on Metatron Files thanks for checking this out and there'll be another episode very very soon You're watching Mutant TV.